Okay, for this week, uh, week 11, uh, as it stands right now, there is not going to be an in-class assignment. Uh, I figure you got plenty going on between this one and the other class. Uh, it's really kind of lightweight this week, uh, as it stands right now. Um, a few videos in CAD learning. And, and then this one or, or two, however many it takes for me to put this together for you. Uh, we're, I want you to start with uh, the, the plan you, you completed for week 10. Okay. And we're going to make some changes to it. We're going to do a, a, a floor plan detail and some interior elevations of the kitchen. And so this is what you're going to start with. Uh, I'll, I'll put a PDF uh, attached to Blackboard of what the finished product should look like, and I'll print them and hang them in the uh, in the lab that you can look at. Uh, what I want to show you is how to modify, <clears throat> excuse me, the casework tag so that we can utilize it. And I'll I'm going to show you. And th this is my file from last week. So I'm um, I'm going to go annotate tag by category. Oh, I don't. I got to hide the countertop first so I can grab the cabinets. Okay, so I'm going to go tag by category. I'm going to click on the cabinet. It says no tag load for casework. You want to load one? Yes. So go casework tag. All right, and then let's tag it. And nothing is showing up right now. We're going to edit it. So we're going to go in, we're going to go edit family, and then I want you to click on the label, and we can go edit label, or we can edit it over here. Uh, we're going to take, well, I've already edited this one. Uh, what shows up in yours is type mark, and I want you to remove that and then add mark. Okay. Uh, there are two different parameter fields, so I want you to add mark to it instead, and then you'll save it and load it into your project, okay? I've got both my files open. That's why that's showing up. Okay. Uh. All right. And so now it's still going to be blank. All the cabinets that you put in, you're going to come down here in the cabinet field and you're going to put in what kind of cabinet it is. This one is a base 24. Okay. And then that's going to fill that information in. Okay. Now on some of these, the text will be so big. So really once we get into our, uh, um, what we're going to do is I take that back. One more edit that you're going to make. Can I do it here? Ah, yeah, we're going to turn off the box visibility. Okay, and that it may be easier to do that after you've put them in or, or before. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to turn it off though. Okay, so that's how you're going to edit that, and we'll place those in. So Let me pull, ah, come on, here we go. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Give me just a minute here. All right, here is the floor plan. What you're gonna do? See, I've totally redone the cabinets, okay? Uh, I changed the window size. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I kept it in the same place, but I changed the size of it uh, and had to edit that. It's a, uh, oh, there we go. It's a 36 by 36. So I just had to duplicate and create a new one. Okay. Uh, but I put a revision tag around every uh, a revision cloud and tagged it. Okay. Number one. And then. I created a floor plan callout. 
of the kitchen itself. And here's this. And just so that it didn't cloud everything up, I just put the revision tag cloud around the window and tagged it also, because that's a major change uh, in the building. Now we, we changed the cabinet layout. Okay, so you can see how I, uh, I put everything in. And these are numbered. This is a base 12 inch wide with drawers. Okay, a wall 12 inch, a sink base 39, 39 inch, corner base 36, corner wall cabinet 24, so on and so forth. Now this cabinet right here, a W30 by 18, I had to edit that one, uh, duplicate it, edit it, and made it 18 inches tall, so because it's over the top of the stove. And same way this corner wall cabinet, it came in, it was, I can't remember how tall it was, how, how tall? It was only two feet tall, I think, and I, I, I edited it, made it two foot six like the rest of them. Okay, so get everything in, get them locked down so that they don't move and aligned. Uh, put in your countertop and this countertop, you bring it in. You have to kind of flip it around a little bit to get the sink cut out on this right side. So you can rotate it, you can mirror it and flip it and get it, um, you know, so the sink opening is on the right side. Okay, I got all those put in. Um, and then added two interior elevations. And I renamed them based on what they are, oven wall and sink wall. And then I put the tags on the cabinets. All right. Okay. And of course, did a revision tag on the window too. Okay, and so this is what you're you're gonna you're gonna do, and then you're gonna create a new drawing sheet, sheet number A105, kitchen details, and you're gonna bring your uh, your your you know big scale kitchen um, plan in, and your two elevations, and make the little changes there. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, and we'll submit this whole file because your floor plan sheet updates also with the revision cloud. And it'll show those changes there. And then over here in revisions, we got revision number one. And we can always, uh, oh, I'm in my, my sheet. Comments. I don't know if I can put the comments right here. I don't know. Let's we'll see what that does. Eh, didn't change anything there. So anyway, that's fine. Uh, and you create the drawing sheets, package up your file, and submit the whole file in Blackboard. And if you got questions, shoot me an email uh, or come by the lab and see us.